The National 7 circuit will be making a comeback after one week of rest. Black Blood, with only five points, will be keen to bounce back into winning ways and hope that they can be able to maintain their top tier status when they take on KCB, Homeboys and Vihiga Granite. I had a chance to visit them in their training to just see how they're preparing themselves ahead of the third leg and this is what the uh, coach had to say about their preparation. Um, good observation pitches. I think uh, our servants have not been playing pretty well especially the last uh, the last I mean last season and this season uh, basically because of the sponsorship remember KU is our main sponsor as an institution and a club now if you look at it critically last season uh, last season we were never last season we were never sponsored by Kenyatta University so it we really struggled as a club taking ourselves to the different places. Remember, we even got in, uh, involved in an accident when we were traveling with Min Machine uh, to drift to, that is, uh, Mombasa Sevens, of which we could not uh, be part of it because of that. Also, going to Dala, the performer, Dala of last season, the performance was not that good, basically because of the sponsorship and everything. The same thing has happened this year. Kenyatta University is only sponsoring the the 15th version, uh, the longer version, which is Kenya Cup. Now, Sevens were struggling for sponsors and everything. These guys are uh, they are young ones. They have their, they, they I mean, they have other things that they need to take care of, the food, the meals, and everything. Of which, as a club, we can't uh, give them transport and everything. You get. We have the talents. If you just give them the support that they need, yeah. Another one, Bran Wainya. He has been exceptionally good player. To me, is one of the best number nines in the country right now. Um, save for the injury, right now it could be one of the key players here. But uh, you can see the team is also not gelled up as well because we are missing those key players who have been there before. A Kaizen's principle is the one that always guides us, so it can only get better. Of course, uh, the first leg, that is Kakamega Sevens, we played in Division 2, came out second, lost in the final, won all the matches apart from the one in the final. Um, Basically because we finished 13th last season and remember it's only top 12 who are being favoured. Now we got a chance to play in Division 1, uh, that's why we have the 5 points because Division 2 points doesn't count. Otherwise we could have added 19 plus the 5 you get. Now um, we went to play in Meru, Division 1 and I'm, I'm, I'm glad that we still managed to keep up with the Division 1. Now we maintain the status. Now look at it this, uh, this way. Yeah? Uh, sevens is a bit tricky, it's unlike fifteens, that's why most teams are struggling. Um, a team like Kenya Lequins, so far they've only picked, I know they have less points than us, you get, and they've played in Division 1 for two weeks. Uh, this coming weekend in Dallas, they'll not be featuring in as well, they'll be going to Division 2. And you see, even Division 2 is hard banner, you can't just go there and think that you will rise through the ranks. And uh, Now, for us, I know it has not been the best of outings, but I believe this weekend the boys will put up a good fight uh, in terms of preparation that we've done and everything. Uh, dealing with students is a bit tough, especially if they're not on scholarships or if they're not being sponsored. Our target is to win the next, at, at least for us to be in the, 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 the main cup for, uh, for, for Dallas Evans. Yeah, that means that we have to win at least two matches. You get, yeah, now for the two matches, I know KCB has been a hard team, especially in 15s, but in 7s we've beaten them before, so it will, not be, it will not be a hard thing, though it will also not be an easy walk in the park. Remember, you can't, in sports you can't say, because we beat you the other day, we'll beat you again. You get, uh, but uh, if you speak to any of them, they, in the shorter version, Impala, KCB, Nakuru, those are the teams that don't want to see black blood. Whenever they see black blood, they know that it's going to be a tough game. Um, I know homeboys also, it has been a bit tough for us uh, against them most of the time because they also have the names and they also have the, the young guys coming in. You get so experience and uh, the young guys, so it becomes a very good thing. Uh, nonetheless, we are going to give good account of ourselves. Uh, we believe that we can do it. Vega Granites also, uh, having lost in the finals of Division 2, it means that they also they'll also not I mean they also not be coming to lose all the matches. Glad I'm glad about the Kenya University's scholarships, post scholarship that is. Uh, it has really helped a lot of us, especially me, uh, because I joined through the same program. Uh, Levi Amunga, 
very exceptional, also joined through the same program. Uh, right now we have uh, Edwin Mutoka also in the same program. Last year we were unfortunate not to get any, but I believe this same round we'll get. Now, um, if you can increase the number, remember KU only offers five scholarship, and remember it's both for males and females, and it's across all the sports you get. So that's why maybe sometimes you are lucky to get, sometimes you are unlucky to get. Uh, if you can have a way of maybe having even five j for just for rugby, yeah. And remember for rugby, even if it is three for uh, men and two for women's team, it will be very good for us. Remember when you are, when somebody is paying for your, uh, your, your tuition fee and everything, the, the way you'll be playing or the way you'll be committed to doing something will be completely different from maybe the rest of the guys you get. So if you can have a way of motivating these people by increasing the number of scholarship, I know it will be really uh, of great help.